Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Sir Alorent and his Proels versus Chu Blanc and his Dwarves. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello! Hello everybody, we're here to watch a classic game, Elves versus Dwarves. And Jesus, those Elves have a lot of skills. God. So yeah, it's an 11 man dwarf team and a 13 man pro elf team, which means the dwarves get a wizard and a bride. <laughs> Brutal. This looks grim as hell for the elves. Ooh. There's Dublé Skulls. He's got, he's got some nice players, to be fair. He's got the mighty blow yeah. that could do something. He's got movement line. Must be movement. Something else. Movement catcher. Axe Are you throw throwing? Plenty of wrestle. Wrestle and kick nation. <laughs> oh, there's a removal. But yeah, this looks real bad for them, doesn't it? This looks a bit like uh, a bit like the purple chest versus Thomas T match from the other season, where it's just like <laughs> there's going to be dwarves pounding elves. Yeah, uh, so they have this uh, crazy blitzer with mighty blow, pylon, juggernaut, jump up, frenzy. Yeah, that is a wild blitzer. That is a fucking wild blitzer. I still the Proelves have a lot of skills there, but the lacking guard is going to be really, really difficult. Yeah, that's the key thing, isn't it? It's the guard, and yeah, absolutely none is... is... Um, it's shit. <laughs> isn't it, really? Yeah, also the thrower has block instead of dodge. I don't like that. No, because it's wasting his edge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I hate that. And he's got accurate as well. Like, that could have just been dodge. And he could have had blood show hands and I tried. But yeah, that's that's really weird, going block instead of dodge. Your, your edge is nowhere near as effective without dodge, is it? I mean, you're going to want to, you know, move the thrower in case he's in danger or something like that. Repositioning himself to make it better passes, so yeah, having block is like all right. Yeah, I think that's a... not what I would do, but who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> but no, I think it's I think it's wrong. <laughs> yes. Well, at least this one should be quick. I mean. Because without the wizard, like, if, if the pro elves had the wizard, you know, you could see, like, a critical turn, even with, but with no edge, or with one edge, it's like... Yeah, but how are they going to, you know, stop the dwarves, the pro elves? They don't have the... the skills to be able to take the ball from the, the runner. No, all they can do is stand in the way of it. Yeah. <laughs> and hope enough of them don't die. They're all bodies, you know, the... <laughs> The dwarves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is literally it. It's not even a joke. That is literally all they can do is just stand in front of them and hope they don't get too grinded down. It's pretty brutal. Well, they have a big bench for a team. They have 13 players. They do. But they still need to not lose enough players on this drive as well, don't they? Like, literally, all they can do is just standing in the way. Like, it's it's fucking crazy. Like, that's all they've got. And there's another one gone. They've got no exciting sacking players, and even if they did, they'd be up hills because they've got no guard. So yeah, it's, there's another one gone. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, he's gonna be very quick. <laughs> three chasm turn three. Oh dear. This is like watching a Jimmy Fantastic Chaos team. In place of the elves, I mean. <laughs> 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 Is he going for the foul? I mean, he has arrived, so... Yeah, probably. There you go. 
I don't, I don't like this for the hard. No, I think it's a shit foul, but fair enough if you've got the bribe, isn't it? To just try and get yeah. steamroller going more. I think it's a genuinely it. terrible foul, but in the context of the game, it's, it's, I think it's okay. Is this the only thing that the brothers can do? Yes. Would an assist, blitz with the mighty blow, pray. Yeah. Stand in the way a bit. Just one square away every single time. Yeah. But in fact, he's gone quite far. In fact, he's just giving up the drive. He's just giving it up. Well, there you go. That's great for the doors. Now they can go. I mean, it's turn four. Like, you know, it, it's hard to say he could have even got in the way, really. But now he's definitely not in the way. So now. I don't think they have enough players left to stand in the way anyway. No, but I mean that's all he could have tried, isn't it? And now he can't yeah. even try that, so so now you should go forward as far as you can. And... Maybe base, you know, baiting the, the quad the schools. Yeah. Well, he's taking it slow still, interesting. I just move up as much as possible and, uh, you know, Solidify the position up, and then it's okay. Glorious. Don't need to worry about if something no, happens in later in. times. We are already crossing that line. Yeah, I, I can't like moving a bit further up there, but uh, I will defend. Fair enough. Glorious. Also, what are you doing? Are you actually basing the players or advancing or that? This is like a middle ground. Yeah, it's interesting. Isn't it? Oh well, that foul was good luck. Oh, okay, eleven into eleven. Injury 66, there you go, that's all you foul, proper fouls here. Calcium that foul. <laughs> Sir Alan Oreds knows how to roll. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Backyard Dodo, for staying fantastic for 37 months, over three years, over nine who will be the pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. And four human pregnancies. <laughs> yeah, four human pregnancies, yeah. As always, the, you know, the, the brothers know what's a KO. Because the dwarves are just the murdering. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, seven beaver pregnancies and one human. <laughs> oh, look, a kill. Yeah. An actual kill. And yeah, I guess there's no need for them to push forward further. Last turn. Just make it totally safe. Absolute Dyson wasn't a Kaz. Blanc will be looking at his dice think, thinking, what the fuck? How wasn't this a Kaz? <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Looked like he thought about trying to get in the way and then thought, fuck this. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> not the thrower, not the thrower. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> well, at least you can use your rerolls without any problem. Uh, you're not going to do anything. Mm. Yeah, I think I would have tried to get a bit further up the field than Chu Blanc did, but fair enough, isn't it? I think the. Uh... The way that the way that uh, Sir Alarens played, it looked like he was giving you the score, so it looked like so, he didn't need to take as much space as he Sorry, Orelensis, I don't think that's a blitzer. I think that's a, they have a troll slayer with a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is an actual good blitzer. Oh, he smashes him. Oh my god, goodbye, Mr. Throw. <laughs> Really, it's brutal. The rookie's here to foul him. So he can cage up and get a three assist foul as well. Beautiful. That's a very good player to foul too. Yeah, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice catcher, isn't it? Oh, I would have preferred to have seen him there. And then get an extra assist, but you know, I'd rather have three assists than two. But fair enough, I mean, that puts more pressure on that guy. 
Sends him off. Is the brave is the use? Yeah, he's got to, he's only got them players. He could have maybe stopped fouling there, couldn't he, and saved that for the second half, but it's fair enough. It was a very good target. If it was a lineman or something like that, yeah, I mean, they saved it for the second half, but that was a really, really easy target. Because yeah. you're at the point now, like, that the, 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 the scale is totally worthless, basically. <laughs> you made so many cars and the drive's absolutely 100% won. And that was maybe the time to stop fouling. I can understand not stopping fouling. Oh god, this is a bit. I don't know, I guess it's just out of range. That's the best thing to do, isn't it? It's actually not out of range of this blitzer. But I guess he can blitz him and then he will be out of range yeah. of him. Wow, could have failed those GFIs. Is he getting the blitz with the Jugger now to cancel Fen? Ah, oh. makes the tackle one. Didn't break armor. What a dicing! <laughs> Absolute dicing. The tide has changed. Rolls <laughs> in control now. <laughs> I mean, on paper, the game was already very, very green. Yeah. This uh, dwarf team is very TV efficient. Only has the jump up and the extra movement and the extra dodge. Yeah, yeah, it's a brutal, brutal match. Didn't forget to score. <laughs> the important part. It's probably going to be 1 0. I can't see a one turn here. He's got to stand firm as well to put on the other ice. So it's going to be very, very tricky to get the one turn with, what, four, seven players? Move nine. I think seven is the minimum. Move nine, so it probably is doable, but it's hard, isn't it, against the, uh, against the two stun firm? I mean, you've got to like do a crazy dodge and then uphill for the push. It's very tricky. How how you even uh, do it? I mean, you need to hit the middle. Uh... Yeah, yeah. You just got to like dodge in on a on a six. Yeah, <laughs> and then uphill him. The push is like it's stupid, but I mean it's doable. It is it is genuinely it's, doable. It's inside the rules of the game. <laughs> yes. Oh, not if you get blitzed. Oh, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Peace of mind there. <laughs> God, brutal. <laughs> Not dead, at least. <laughs> there you go. Yes, run away to save the runner getting hit. I like that. There'd be the temptation to be a silly bugger and pick it up, but there was absolutely no need to pick the ball up. You can't score, so just run the runner back. Lovely. And I see you wanna see a blitz from the mighty the guy with mighty blow and that's gonna be it. Yep. 
Oh, güey, no, nos quedan dudas ahí, tendrán a Blitz. Uf, por mi tarjeta. Fufu, devastating. Will the dwarves be able to go? I'll leave the Blitz with the block. <laughs> all stay out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty unlucky. Well, now Shublang have the choice of use the wizard to make things more easy to uh, sit a lot of next opponent. Uh, Shublang is the dwarves. Yeah, that's it. I was just true. Shublang is the one with the wizard. Sorry, I'm so used to see the elves with our wizard. All right, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? He's like, it's the dwarves that got the wizard. How unfair is that? <laughs> you know, you play with the pro elves, which are the TV efficient because they are cheaper and it still this happens to you. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. And there is nothing you can do because what do you do? Fire players and then you are, you know, <laughs> playing only with 11. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. And actually it wasn't even enough because the dwarves also got a, a bribe. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So even if you'd sack more people, you'd still get a bribe. Where is the TV in this uh, Pro Elf team? Because no. they don't have any crazy players. No, yeah, they don't have a lot, do they? They've got the Mighty Blow. And they've got a Move Up and an Agile. I see. No the, rest is, the rest are just regular skills. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a very high TV royal team, but then the dwarves are like 11 players and like super, super TV efficient, aren't they? <laughs> no, some guy 1-3, I think. I think he's a pretty safe bet to win. <laughs> I think he yeah. was from the start of the match, but definitely now. <laughs> yeah, dwarves with a wizard is like... Oh. That's why in a, it was second edition, the one that the dwarves didn't get a wizard. The wizard was a guy that gave them money. Ah, yeah, yeah, that was... The dwarf alchemist. Yeah. Running an extra D6 of money at the end of every game. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, the dwarves. I mean, you can imagine it's a, it's a fucking rune, can't you? Like, they, they said that dwarves don't get magic, but then they always had runesmiths and everything, which were essentially wizards anyway, didn't they? Yeah, it's exactly magic. You're like, oh, no, they, well, it looks exactly like that. <laughs> they don't have magic, but they make the best magic weapons. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Horrible dwarfses. Yeah, runic weapons were always the best, weren't they? Disgusters. Well, he's he's recovered for a turn, but this is just so grim, isn't it? He's got no players, and he can eat, he can have a lot. Everybody of is gonna get double and triple base. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just brutal. He can. There are the the. the they have nowhere to go. Yeah, and he's got the bolt as well, so like it's just it's just brutal, isn't it? I would I would personally I would have kept the move seven like about here. I'm not really bothered with the uh but, uh, not really bothered with the uh, try to generate some pressure from a blitzer rather than the runner, but fair enough. I think just the dwarf, just everything they can, they have to do is create funny forms with the uh, funny shapes, <laughs> positioning the players, you know, it's like that, a, a perfect diagonal line there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's, you know, there's a, there's a dodge away and a potato. It's possible. I think he had to blitz him, didn't he? I think he had to blitz him and then like run away with a slime or something. That's why he's pretty fucked at this point. He's up shit creek, not a paddle in sight. Nope, no, not even a boat inside. 
Blitzing. You see, he seems quite greedy here, Chublonk. I think, you know, I think it would, he could have definitely played this a lot safer. Because, like, you know, you just blitz this guy and then there's no threat, is there? And, like, get this guy yeah. back. If you have this guy back and you always blitz the deepest player, then how the fuck do they get ahead? Like, they just can't. They just can't get ahead if you, if you keep doing that. Whereas by not blitzing him, like, presumably he's going to blitz somebody else. Um, then... Okay, you're kind of putting pressure on this guy to do something, but then this could work, right? This guy could 3-3-2 three, three, away, double GFI, and then... And, uh, and the dwarves can get him. Yeah, and you both could fail. Like, it just seems crazy to, like, leave them that chance, whereas if you knock him down, then they're just totally fucked. In fact, I think this uh, Blitzer here could have... Instead of blitzing there, blitzing the guy covering the... Oh, okay. You can see, you can just that player, you know, he would have didn't need any roll and just run. Yeah, that was always doable. So if he, you know, if he double GFIs there as well, it's very hard to reach him. And he's got a chance. Here comes the lightning bolt. He's, well, he's probably got to blitz the, the sidestepper here, hasn't he? If he wants to pick up the ball, it has to, because that's diving tackle. Yeah. Okay, so he's blitzing this guy. And you can still get there with the uh, one, I think. But if you go for the ball there, it's two tackle zones. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, now, now he's thinking about the scoring threat. I go, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, so who, who's going to grab the ball? <laughs> oh, it's such five. No, I mean for the oh, dwarves. For I mean, uh, you have bolted, you know, so... Oh, he's going to foul the edge five. And then just leave two tackle zones on the ball. Failed. Oh, wow. The, the elves have got a chance. Wizard totally wasted, basically. Fails his three plus. Long bomb. Oi. Easy pass. Oh, he fails a three plus catch. And then the fucking dwarf gets oh, it. Oh, oh fuck. I off. think he, th he didn't need to do the dodge from the tackle. Uh, they have nerf of steel, the throwers, no? No, no, it's oh, the the catch. It's only the catch. It's only the catch. Okay, so yeah, I think he needed the. Might have still been better to have gone one, two, three, and then GF5 that way. I'm making that three plus. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect dwarf player. <laughs> Disgusting. No, I won't give in. Disgusting Until I'm I, I basically hate and how I will that defend. It was so dumb. I will defend. But that's the thing that happens. You know, you're so in control of the game that you stop thinking and just go, okay, two dice here, blah blah, mighty blow here, easy peasy. Yeah. You know, you go into autopilot. Yeah, I guess so. And then you forget that the Blood Bowl is a game designed to give chances to anyone anytime. <laughs> Thank you very much, Johnny Five, for staying fantastic for 30 glorious months. Also known as two human pregnancies and three beaver pregnancies. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Oh, he's failed his dodge. Now it's... Now it's a double surf. Nope. Well, it could still be a... It could still be a double surf. No, tricky now. I guess you don't even try a double surf. It'd be a GFI, wouldn't it? Yeah, you need a... This guy would have to GFI there. 
and then bring this guy in and then blitz him and then push him. So it's probably easy just to punch him and then surf him. Just surf one. Oh, no, he does do the GFI. Oh yeah, he didn't even need the other guy, that ain't hit from the diagonal. But then you just need to fill this in anyway to get the extra surf. Or be powered him anyway. Ah, oh, okay. Well, he casts him on the blitz. I said three beaver pregnancies, J5. Yeah, 12 plus 18. I, uh, I managed that quick maths. <laughs> All by myself. There's the foul and the KO. So now this. <laughs> There's two, two elves left on the field. Let's see what they can do. Or I meant to say three anyway. I may have said two by mistake. He just passes they the They can turn. press past that. Less chance of that working with two minute turns. Uh, near, or three minute turns. Nearly worked brilliantly for Fat in, in, in the BBSL. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious J5. Oh, look at that, a pass. Styling and profiling. That puts him MVP range. The runner in MVP range. And, and uh, he's going to be a skill. skill for uh, the long beard. Discuss for us. Which I mean is gonna be a stand firm. He has to have three stand firm, he has to be, you know, safe proof. Yeah, well he's, he's up against Mr. Paid, so it could be Fend to counter the claw pawn. Ooh, no. Or Mighty Blow, yes, to counter the Mighty Blow. Yeah, yeah, he could just go Mighty Blow to out, try and outbash him, but it could be Fend and then try and stick him on the claw pawn guy, you know. Like, it's not great, but what else can you do? Um. So yeah, well, that was a massacre, wasn't it? Um, nobody is surprised by that one. Uh, <laughs> he was probably he was probably lucky, too blank overall. But uh, you know, that always has the chance of happening, doesn't it? Pro elves versus dwarves, especially brutally TV efficient dwarves. So, MVP yeah. for the dead, as always. Yeah, yeah, just brutal. Well, thank you very much, Fimey, for the core commentary in that absolute disaster. <laughs> Thanks, a pleasure to be here, and yeah, it didn't go very well for the people, well, commiserations to the Alpha coach. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.